Okay, and today we want to speak about men's mental wellness, men's mental health, because there's been an alarming number of suicide, uh, of death by suicide uh, by men, especially in Kirinyaga County. And I'll just give you some uh, figures before I introduce the guest. Um, we have 132 people who have died of suicide in Kirinyaga in 2021 and 2022. And out of the 132, 106 are men and 26 are women. So you can imagine that range. That is quite a huge number of men committing suicide. Uh, um, also, most men die of suicide by hanging themselves inside the houses and on trees, while others die, uh, drown themselves in rivers and wells. This is some of the statistics found. And according to World Health Organization, um, males, di males die by suicide at twice the rate of females. And uh, high-income countries have the highest suicide rates among males. So these are some of the uh, you know, worrying statistics that are there. Um, in regards to mental health uh, in on men. And uh, we want to address this today. And for that, we are joined by Anthony Njenga, who is a counselor and uh, not a new face on Y254. Can you understand, Anthony? Asante sana, Steph. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. Glad you to have good. you. look good. I can imagine now, ume, ume set the tone. Hata kama inenda kuka. Well. No men are color blind. It's Jini, orange, I'm red. I don't know. You're setting the, the tone. Kuna boe chalu napasia message. Propaganda. Well, you look good yourself. Thank you so much. All right. So <clears throat> let's talk about this. Yes. You know, why, why is it that it's important to speak about this now? I think it's high time. And I think we have been doing this for the longest time possible. We have not been doing this now. Personally, I have an initiative whereby it's called Encourage to Inspire. I've been going to schools, mm -hmm. high schools, primary schools, universities, colleges, yeah. different institutions, churches, corporates, you know talking about these issues because you know uh, it's high time we focus on men you know it's i think i think we have uh, in the past period eh, mm -hmm. to be focus on our ladies and women and girls mm -hmm. we have empowered more ladies and women that's why we can yeah. church okay and these uh, institutions there are chamaso women there mm -hmm. are women conferences there are women meetings yeah. uh, you know ladies or some, something like that eh? but now it's high time we have men's talk men's conference mm -hmm. not men's conference here valentine but now this on mm -hmm. a serious case because it yeah. is high time. Because you can see the cases of Kirinyaga. Yeah. 106 men, you know, out of 132. So Kumanisha, men are, are at a high risk. When you mesema the research according to WHO. Mm -hmm. no, no. So it is high time because I feel like yeah. for the men, when you melelewa, at mimi personally, the mm. background, uh, the culture, the society. Yeah. The men have been raised to be the strong men. To kuka ngumu. Kikose unambio we kwa mwana ume bana. Kwa 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 mwana ume njini. Changa muka bana. Wacha kuka kaa hivi hivi. Vumilia. Vumilia we ni mwana ume bana. So even, uh, even after the, in, uh, the circumcision process, after that, you become yeah. a man. From a boy, unatoka, unafika level ngini. So kuna that, kuna hiyo change, na pia kuna the cultural uh, perspective and the societal perspective of how a man should behave. Mm -hmm. But one thing uh, people should realize that is, is that a man mm -hmm. is a normal human being like any other person. They're you also know? human, yeah. Yes, and we have emotions too. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, it is a very okay. I usually, I'm one advocate of saying it is very okay for a man to break down. Mm. It's very okay for a man to be emotional. Okay. But there are men who are watching and will be like, nah. We can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> we can't busy. do that unless they and are lawyers and they're going to the funeral. <laughs> 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 but anyway, it is very really yeah. okay. It is very okay for a man to break down. If you are a man and you're watching me right now, yeah. if you feel things are too difficult, because unajua say to deal na economic uh, crisis, eh? mm -hmm. Kuna, unajua men, as men, we try so hard. Yeah. We try so hard to make a living for ourselves, for our families, you know. Unapata as a man, kuna ile responsibility. The moment you reach at a certain age, kuna ile age unafikanga, Una, una feeling you need too much. Because mm -hmm. you're a man. You there's know, that people pressure. People are looking at you. People are looking at you and there's expectation. that pressure. You need, mm -hmm. you need to work. If you, maybe you have a family, you have a home, you have kids, you have mm -hmm. you have a wife, you know, you have people at home who are looking, uh, who could depend on you. And probably you are only receiving a salary of like 10,000. And all Imagine, these people are... And I'm imagining mm -hmm. that there's a man maybe in Nairobi, you're the only one who has been educated exactly. in your family. And people are looking up, you know, Kuna pressure to you, kwa village. Yeah. But one thing, uh, Steph, uh, mm -hmm. as a man, they need to understand is that uh, the society has expectations that we have men. 
that you know you have to man up. Now tunakaribia Valentine's, talking of, of that. Eh? <laughs> eh, pressure imeanza already. Boy child washaanza kupata pressure. <laughs> Unaona and there is memes imekuwa uh -huh. kitokea hapa na pale e, ati hii Valentine's ni utajua kama uko peke yako ama mko nini mko committee <laughs> kama hautapewa gifts but you know it is high time how, how about we shift this conversation to you as ladies how about you gift this man yeah because let me tell you for a fact mm -hmm. and this I'm telling you for a fact yeah right now most people are single most men are single because there's a lot of pressure in relationships Okay. So unapata there is a man ana prefer kai too single atafute tu pesa yake ajitafutie tu yeye aji jenge kivi yake than to be involved in a relationship yenye nampatia too much pressure. Itakuwa na stress more. Unaona? Cuz uh, there's a video seeing of a man in Kirinyaga uh, one of alikuwa anaongelea kuhusu story ya suicide. Mhm. Mm alikuwa anasema it's an old man I think around 50s eh. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa anasema the reason as to why wanaume wana, wana commit suicide is because unakana mwanamke kwa nyumba lakini pesa yake hautaiona. There is a societal perspective of pesa ya mwanamke ni pesa ya mwanamke pesa ya mwanamke ni pesa yetu. Yeah. And I think most times we, we joke around that and exactly. it's, it's normal. So what do you say to that? Pesa ya mwanamke pesa yake pesa you know yeah the man it's for both of us. Now, How should it be so that you know you guys are married. A you guys are in a relationship you're married you have decided to do this life together. I mm -hmm. think it should be a balance. There should be a balance. If I'm doing this at least helping something but there are ladies who, ladies who receive or women who receive a salary of maybe whichever amount eh? and you pesa yake utaiona hata but for a man maybe na receive salary you know there are cases where by mm -hmm. ladies are receiving a salary more than the man yeah. and it's the man who is providing and the ladies are the, the, the lady salary in kwa bank exactly. lakini ya mwanamme kama ni 20k yote inakuja kwa familia lakini ya dem anaweza kuwa nalipo 30k kwa bank makeup viatu kila kitu and pia kuna kuna mambo huyu mwanamme hiyo 20k yake anafaa ku Sponsor. Eh, lazima sponsor mwanamke lazima afanyeze <laughs> vitu zote so there is too much pressure i think the boy we, child the boy child wamepatiwa na tumekewa too much pressure from the society from the culture mm -hmm. that uh, unaona pia uh, talking of the same story of suicide eh? yeah last week on tuesday there was a 14 year old boy you saw that eh? mm -hmm. ali, com ali commit suicide uh, Akin, alikuwa anaenda form 1 alikuwa anafaa kwenda form 1 lakini alikuwa mtu the father yeah the father yeah. had already paid the fees alikuwa ashampatia hiyo fee uh, fee slip the boy was excited he was at working he was obedient mm -hmm. you know he was so excited but the father was shocked that alikuwa mtu said kwa nini you know there are a lot of cases that are happening even in the primary school level that's why i'm one yeah, advocate of saying and even talking to you know schools are open right now I'm one advocate of saying it is very important. I, I, I think mm -hmm. right now we pursue Billy uh, mental health in schools. I think now kuna venye sahii wameanza kuleta counselors in school. Mm -hmm. But I think it's high time we put sikuwe tunaifanya sahii alafu after a few years or a few months in metolewa. We forget about it should it. be there because a lot is happening in primary schools. Mm -hmm. A lot is happening in high school. Do you know 85% of who you are mm -hmm. is made up of your childhood experience. True. True. Only 15% is made up of your adult. Yeah. 85 of it, mm -hmm. your personality, your character, how you are right now. It was built when you were young. When you were young. So you can imagine this 14-year-old boy, probably, maybe, you know, Sodom is happening even the primary school level. Mm -hmm. You know, people think only Sodom happens in high school. Yeah. You know? People, mm -hmm. people think that men cannot be sexually abused, but men can be sexually abused. Those are some of the things that men go through. And exactly. They, they cannot about. say it. Be because, to, to know, get to know, it's high time even the society creates that safe space for us to be able to share mm -hmm. our issues because sasa nitaenda kuambia nani issue yangu alafu aanze kuniambia kama say for example can i give you an example mm -hmm. uh, let's say for example we are dating mm -hmm. uh, lakini watu wasifikirie <laughs> it's an example sikio <laughs> blogs now we are dating then now let's say for example we have a disagreement to kawaida kwa relationship then you slap me or you beat me then you need to report kwa police station Hey, exactly. maze, my, my wife has beaten me. How will ah, they take the police, response? Ah, police are like, muna pigwa aje. Nwa ni mwana muna pigwa aje na mstana. Mm -hmm. Now, how will that case be solved? You know, issues of gender-based violence on physical abuse, sexual abuse, it happens on men too, not only on women. But no. people don't try to understand that. They feel like it's only women mm -hmm. who wanafanya use of it. Who go through that. And if you're a man, you're supposed to endure or do something about it because exactly. you're a man. You need to understand mm -hmm. we as men we are human beings. We can But I would ask you Anthony, uh -huh. why is it that the cases are on the rise now mm -hmm. as compared to, you know, the times of our parents and mm -hmm. our, you know the generations that were before us? 
Went, wasn't it the same thing? Weren't the men, the providers of the home, weren't the expectations the same? So why is it different now? I think it is different right now because you know your time. Uh, there are times we don't know what happened. A lot happened. And you know most of the time um, our mm -hmm. parents, I would say our parents also need therapy because okay. our parents also go through a lot, maybe from the other families. So they try and project the same to their kids. Okay. Come our parents, let's say if it is a mom and the dad in a home and they have a boy in that homestead mm -hmm. as the firstborn or the secondborn or whichever, let's say these parents were not raised well in their home. Mm -hmm. Now, ile strictness patiwa. They try and project the same on the kids. They try and uh, determine the kids' future. And when they have parents, they say, I'm going to course. Usifanya engineering, usifanya law. Mm. Don't do media. No, no, no. Media is bad. It doesn't have market. Do doctor. Be a doctor. So, mm. Be medicine. Do medicine. Mm -hmm. Do mamona surgery. In the process, unapata kijana, maybe you're going to art. Lakini mzaza ya mwambia afanya teaching. Now, uyu kijana at a, at a field. Who, my family is, na expect family yangu ni support. Basi but basi. This, I'm not getting that support from my family. Now, who am I supposed to talk to or be open to. If my family is the first, uh, that's the first, fa that's the first uh, close person of close friend we have. Come a family any support. Who now, else who else will support me? me? So from the family, and they also on the same, same area, you 14 year old boy, Mel Kwananda from one, grade four, last year, December, 2022, grade four pupil, Ali commit suicide. It's crazy because even in my nephew's school, there was a, also a grade three you student. Can imagine. You grade three last year. Year. Nine, nine yeah, years, who ten committed years. suicide? I mean, so why? There's a lot happening in the grassroots level. I think it's high time, even as the government, even as the society, even as parents, we look at the grass level, the, gr the ground. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we think vitus and escalating yet adults. No. There are things that we face right now as, are as a result of our childhood what the things we, we ignored in our childhood. So we need to address the childhood traumas that we need to ex that we we address have. the childhood traumas because it really matters a lot. Because mm. unapata uru kijano grade 3, grade 4, 14 year old boy, mjelikuwa na fagina form 1, ini kitu ya, ya primary school. Mm. Maybe kuna kitu wali go through wakiwa mdogo that hangeweza kushare, hangeweza kuungelelea. Mm -hmm. And there is the fear of being a man unambia, suji, unambia your, maybe your parent, you know, I was, I was sexually molested. And they are like, we expect this from ladies or girls. Mm -hmm. But kwa na kuwa ni kama it is a bad thing for you to open up. That's yeah. why unapata there are men who hide behind, behind bars. Let me tell you something for a fact, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Take you to the bank. And, I'm, and, and those who are watching can attest. Ukienda kwa club, ukienda kwa bar. Mm -hmm. Percentage ya watu wako hapo wengi ni which gender? Men. Exactly. Because if we cannot have that or people cannot feel at, at ways share nam to your at ways uh na that safe space to share our issues. Where do we hide to? Drugs. Mm -hmm. Where do we hide to? Alcohol. Alcohol. Go to Mombasa. There's issues of drug abuse. Look at the gender. Look at the statistics of drug abuse in Mombasa and alcohol usage. Sana sana drugs. Mm. Heroin, cocaine, these hard drugs, nicotine, these of it was all. Yeah. Angalia statistics. Ni men. Uh, bang, ni men. Ni men. 26 year old uh, boy, uh, this man who committed suicide in Kirinyaga, kwa sababu li nyimu wa pesa kununuwa bangi. Bangi, bana. Imagine. Mzazi ya mekata, uh, nilikuwa nangalia hiyo article, nilikuwa nasema, the previous evening, uh, this man was having a confrontation or an, uh, like an argument with the mother, ndi wapatie pesa, lakini mamaki ya kakata. Then the following morning, the boy decided to commit suicide. 26 yeah. year old man. You can imagine. So That's because I'm a katazo kopati wa pesa ya bangi. Maybe you So this ma is, hmm? uh, probably it was not just about the money to exactly. buy bang, but because of the underlying issues that exactly. we had. Exactly. The underlying issues imekuwa mingi to a point. How is it? Ambi, atambi ya nani? Kama mamake mwenyewe, maybe ya wajakuwa na, in, in, a, in a close connection na yeye. Mm. So na wana kimbili ya bangi. Uh, I hide behind drugs. The people who hide behind alcohol. They have issues. And that's why I say, be very careful. Kuna zila zila signs and symptoms of somebody or a man who is going through uh, mental health illness. Mm -hmm. Unapata mtu anaza kutumia, alcohol anaza yeah. kutumia, drugs. And you feel this is a normal thing. This is just leisure. You know you can use alcohol for two, 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 two reasons. Eh? Mm -hmm. For leisure and for abuse. Nikisama mm -hmm. leisure ni once in a very long in a, time. In a while. Na siya ti mm -hmm. mingi sana. Kama ni beer is just one, one glass or one bottle and that's it. But now you get somebody, you have a friend who is a man, you have, you have a, a relative, you have a brother 
Who is a man? You, are, you maybe you have a son and you keep on seeing them going on a kunyo on a kunyo on a rudi hoon a fikiria tuni routine. Maybe on a fikiria ni, you know, a lot is going through. Okay. Uh, and I go through it to me. Now maybe I'm not kimbili a yo bangi, I'm not kimbili a yo drug, I'm a yo alcohol. Because I'm a feel there is no one to listen to me. There is no one to talk to me because I am, I am a man. Who should I talk to? All you right. know. So what should be done? Um, I'm being told that time is running out, oh, okay. but you want to know the solutions to this. What should be done by the government? Because even people from Kirinyaga were saying that mm. government should come in and do something. Mm. So what should be done? And on a society level, what can we do to, to help men in the society speak up? Because mm. that is the problem. Men are not speaking enough. Yes. So yeah, give us some recommendations. Now, uh, on Kirinyaga, uh, let me say that uh, the government can uh, come in work mm. with NGOs, work with uh, me also, I'm a therapist, I'm a psychologist. Yeah. They can work with psychologists, work with doctors who are professionals or mental health advocates mm -hmm. or professionals in the same area. We end now with uh, different personnel who end up tackle your issue. We have more awareness programs, on, uh, men awareness programs, men awareness programs in Kirinyaga County. What was he said, Karibu, I'd imagine right now is the best time for the, the county government or the mm -hmm. national government to take that charge in Kirinyaga. We organize men awareness programs, okay. uh, at least to engage the men. And as a society, we need to really, really create that safe space for a man to open up. It is very okay for a man to be emotional. To be vulnerable. To be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So it is very okay. As a society, don't we create that notion that a man, you know, a man is weak. No. When they come talking to you, they believe you. If you're a friend to that man, if you're a sister or you're a, you're a brother or a parent to that son or that man, mm -hmm. please make uh, that routine of talking to your, to your person or your child, talking to your brother, talking to your, you know, your relative, you know, your cousin. Talk to them. If you're a parent, please talk to your sons. Mm -hmm. Make sure at least unapigia shule kidogo once in a while to talk to them and ask how they're doing. Probably yeah. they're afraid of talking to the school counselor or the teachers and they feel like you as a parent, you're the first person they can talk to. So let's create that notion as parents even, as mm. society, to make men feel safe. It is very okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way. So if you're a man also watching this, I advise, please open up. Get someone you can confide in. Get a friend, get a relative, get a professional. I'm a psychologist. I'll be leaving my number after this. Mm -hmm. You can talk to me. I will okay. help you. I will, I will be with you and walk with you in the journey of recovery and healing. Don't feel alone. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. I need you. Kenya needs you. The world needs you. Your parents need you. The people in your close family need you. So do not feel like hope is lost. Don't feel worthless. Don't feel hopeless. There is a solution to everything. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And yes. I like to say the fact that you're alive today means that, the, you know, God exactly. still has a purpose for you and exactly. there's still a plan for you. It's no, not the, the end. Pressure. Don't give yourself too much pressure. Probably mm. you're watching me and you don't have plans for Valentine, for your partner, for your wife, for mm. your spouse, for your girlfriend, and you're a man. Don't give yourself too much pressure. It's okay. Talk to your partner. It is very okay. If they do not understand you, then that is not the kind of person you need to be with. Change the, pe change people, the people around you. Around you exactly. Okay. Yes. And do you think we can change the notion in, men, you know, in men's head, if mm. I can put it, in the, you know, the perception that men have? Because also toxic masculinity is mm. ingrained yes. in them because that's how they've been raised. Yes. I'm a man. I can't do this. I can't open up as much as we can create that safe space. Mm. Can we break, you know, break into that? Yes. Um, notion and remove it completely. Yes, we can, but it starts by you as Stephanie. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Because you know you cannot talk to each and every man in this country. Yeah. But the man in your, the people, the men in your contact list, the men you hang around with, the men who are your friends, mm -hmm. that even, it doesn't matter how many men they are, just one man. Just make them feel safe. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Call them once in a while. Ask them how they are doing. Do they need something? perspective. If a man calls a lady and asks for money for a certain thing, they, that's a red flag. But no, probably they mean it. They really want to sort the something and they'll okay. give you back the money. So mm -hmm. talk to that man. If you're a lady, talk to that man. If you have a boyfriend and you're a lady, talk to your man. Ask them how, how are they doing. How mm -hmm. many times? Let me ask this question to those who are watching. You are uh, you're watching me. You're watching this right now. Mm -hmm. When be BMC? When girlfriend BMC? How many times do you ask your man if he's okay? How many times do you call your man not to ask for money, not to ask for attention, but to ask how your man is doing? How many times? Ask yourself that question. 
Okay, yes. that's very key. We, yes. we really, really need to assess ourselves exactly. in order to change this. And finally, as you conclude, mm. if someone is going through um, that phase and they feel suicidal, what should they do? And you can close also by giving yes. your social handles where people can reach you. That now is your camera again. Okay, mm -hmm. now what you should do, number one, you should know that, uh, let, me, let, me give, let, me, let me encourage you. If you're watching me right now and you're at a period or a step or a phase in life whereby things are not easy, you're facing economic crisis, you know, you don't have money, you're trying left, right and centre, you don't have a job, you got fired, things are not working out in your family, things are not working out in your marriage, in your relationship, with, uh, maybe your relationship with your kids, with your close family, with your nuclear family, your extended family, you know, you're facing a lot of issues. Let me tell you something, uh, don't give up yet. Just, just as I said, we need you, I need you, the country needs you, the world needs you, uh, mm. talk to me, Talk to somebody close to you, someone you can confide in. Get a friend, a friend who won't judge you, a friend who will listen to you, a friend who won't go, you won't share your issue with, and tomorrow you'll hear it somewhere else. Get someone you can confide in, a professional psychologist. Go to a hospital. Maybe if you don't know a psychologist or a therapist, go to a hospital. Ask a doctor if they can refer you or recommend you as a psychologist around, and they will show you. They will help you. Don't feel alone. I am here for you. So in, in case you want to get in touch with me, my number, my official number is zero seven. Two five zero two nine three nine eight. I repeat zero seven two five zero two nine three nine eight. You can get me also on social media on Instagram at official Anthony Jenga with a H official then A N T H O N Y N J E N G A official Anthony Jenga on Instagram official Anthony Jenga on TikTok Anthony Jenga on Facebook. Don't feel alone if you're a man watching me. It is okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way. Talk to someone. It is okay for you to be emotionally drained or vulnerable, but don't stay with your issue. Don't die alone. I am here for you. We need you. Your family needs you. Anyone are close, are close to you needs you. And everybody, even the country itself, need you. Thank you very much, Anthony. You're I, I, I love how you're very passionate about mental health. And uh, so I follow you on your IG. He, he does live videos, very encouraging ones. So you might want to follow him again, official mm. Anthony Njenga. We have yes. been speaking to him. He's a counseling psychologist and a mental health advocate. And we've been talking about men's mental health. Thank you very much for staying through this conversation. And I hope that you have been inspired to change your perception against, uh, you know, men and against toxic masculinity because mm. men too need to open up. Yeah. That's about it from this first conversation. Brand Sakwa is coming up next with entrepreneurship. A great conversation that you want to be a part of. Remember the hashtag is one the morning at Y254 channel. We take a short break. We'll be right back.